Hey guys, just thought we'd have a quick look today at this uh, high compression performance crank that we have available for Aprilia and Piaggio 50cc two-stroke scooters. So I'll uh, pop the crank out of the box and uh, let's have a look. Alrighty, this is the crank here. So I've got our variator side over here, stator flywheel side here. You'll see if roll it over a little bit. The uh, little slot for the woodruff key there. Uh, all the threads are exactly the same. Uh, big end here obviously with a little oil slot. Uh, for the two-stroke oil and the fuel to get in there and lubricate the big end. And uh, same sort of idea with these holes up here on the little end, with the little end bearing just there. Cable tied on there just to keep it in for the time being. I have another crank here I'm just going to show you to compare for reference. It's just a, uh, a rusty old crank we have laying around from an old sim. But uh, it'll, uh, it'll work just the same. So uh, you'll obviously see the big difference here is this crank here um, has all this, uh, this space inside here where it's been cast or machined out compared to the high compression crank, which uh, it's all filled in. It's uh, all sort of solid through there. So the main idea behind this is uh, having as little space inside the crank casing as possible as the engine's running. So uh, as this turns, um, air and fuel mixture can just sort of hang around inside the crank casing in these spaces here. Um, now on a conventional engine, these spaces are here just to help balance, uh, balance everything out. Uh, but Sort of when you're looking for performance, you're not looking for the smoothest ride possible, you're looking for power. So uh, this crank here, um, because it's all fill, uh, filled in here, it creates a higher compression inside the actual crank casing itself. So as the piston comes down and it draws more fuel and air in, and it's recompressed, there's less fuel and air that can hang around inside the casing uh, as this is turning. So it's forced up into the cylinder. So um, uh, Obviously, more potential for power there. More compression equals more power in uh, in almost every circumstance. So uh, the other main idea behind these is this is a far stronger uh, crank made of stronger materials, um, and um, it's difficult to see referencing to a rusty old crank. But um, the machining quality of this is uh, is absolutely excellent. So um, certainly for someone who is uh, uh, maybe you have a lot of K's in your scooter, maybe you're looking to um, really um, push the performance boundaries of it. Putting a performance crank in is definitely going to inspire a lot more confidence to, um, to push a bit more power out of it and have the bottom end of your engine uh, cope with it.